Introduction to Microbiology When we come across our daily life, our life is greatly influenced by the work of many microbes, that is, microorganisms, be it digestion of the food that we eat or the air that we breathe. Every element of life is guarded by microbes. They may be useful or harmful. So in this chapter, we are going to learn about different kinds of microbes involved in different fields of applied microbiology. The study of microbes is termed as microbiology. It is of two types. One, pure microbiology, example, bacteriology, virology, etc. Two, applied microbiology, example, industrial microbiology, food microbiology, sewage microbiology, etc. As we are going to learn about applied microbiology in this chapter, let us first try to understand what applied microbiology is. Applied microbiology is the study of the way the microbial world interacts with our own and how we can utilize microbes in various processes. The different branches of applied microbiology are Applied branches of microbiology are as follows. 1. Air microbiology 2. Water microbiology 3. Sewage microbiology 4. Soil microbiology 5. Food microbiology 6. Milk microbiology 7. Industry microbiology 8. Medical microbiology 9. Geomicrobiology 10. Biotechnology Out of which we are going to study the industrial microbiology in detail in this chapter. We are going to study the industrial microbiology in detail in this chapter. Industrial microbiology is one of the applied branches of microbiology. It is defined as the branch of microbiology where large amount of substrate is converted into economically important product by use of microbes. The important feature of microbes are 1. They help in production of fermented food products like bread, cheese, beverages, etc. 2. They help in vaccine and antibiotic production. 3. They help in sewage and garbage treatment. 4. They help in pollution control. 5. They help in preparation of biofuel, etc. 6. They act as biopesticide and bioinsecticide. 7. They act as biofertilizers and many more. Products of Industrial Microbiology A. Dairy Products Milk and milk products are produced since ancient times. Milk is converted into various products for its preservation. Example, cheese, yogurt, butter, kefir, cream, etc. Basic process and microbes used for formation of milk products is the same. The steps are 1. Milk is pasteurized, heated at 100 degrees Celsius to destroy unwanted microbes. 2. Fermentation with the microbe lactobacilli. 3. Milk's lactose sugar is converted to lactic acid. 4. Milk protein gets coagulated. The different milk products are 1. Yogurt Yogurt is a milk product produced with the help of lactobacilli inoculant. Steps in production of yogurt 1. Condensed milk powder is mixed with milk to be fermented. 2. Milk is boiled. 3. Once it cools to warm temperature, bacterial strains of Streptococcus thermophilus and Lactobacillus delbrueckii are added in 1 is to 1 proportion. 4. Lactic acid is formed due to Streptococcus. 5. It makes the proteins to gel out that gives dense consistency to the yogurt. Many flavors of yogurt can be obtained by adding fruit juices. 2. Butter Butter is a dairy product containing up to 80% butter fat which is solid when chilled and at room temperature in some regions and liquid 
when warmed. Two types of butter. One, sweet cream butter. Two, cultured butter. It requires microbes for its production. Three, cheese. We all love to eat pizza, burger, etc. Do you know what is the main ingredient that makes them so yummy and delicious? Right, it's the cheese. A dairy product made from the pressed curds of milk, firm and elastic or soft and semi-liquid in texture is called as cheese. Steps in cheese production 1. Chemical and microbiological tests of milk are performed. 2. Some colors and microbes like Lactobacillus lactis, Lactobacillus cremoris and Streptococcus thermophilus are mixed with milk to impart sourness to the milk. 3. To impart the dense texture, whey, water in yogurt needs to be removed. 4. Separation of the whey from yogurt. 5. Washing, rubbing and salting of the cut pieces. Adding of essential microbe, either enzyme, rennet, which is obtained from cattle or enzyme protease, which is obtained from fungi, is added. And pigments and flavors. 6. Pressing and cutting of cheese. 7. Ripening and storing of cheese. Examples of cheese are cottage cheese, mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese, semi-hard and parmesan cheese, very hard. B. Probiotics. What are probiotics? Probiotics are milk products containing active bacteria. Example, lactobacillus, acidophilus, lactobacillus casei, Bifidobacterium bifidum, etc. Role. These microbes maintain the balance of intestinal microorganisms that is, increase the population of microbes, helping the digestion and decrease the population of harmful microbes. Example, Clostridium. Advantages of probiotics. 1. Useful microbes which becomes inactive due to antibiotics. Probiotics make them active again. 2. Nowadays, probiotics are used for treatment of diarrhea and poultry treatment. C. Bread. Different types of breads are produced from flour of cereals. Steps in bread production. 1. Dough is formed by mixing of baker's yeast, saccharomyces, cerevisia, water, salt and other necessary materials with flour. 2. Due to fermentation of carbohydrates by yeast, Sugar is converted into carbon dioxide, CO2 and ethanol. 3. Dough rises up due to CO2. Four, the bread is produced, which is soft and spongy. Note, yeast is a rich source of carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. As a result of this, bread and other products becomes very nutritive. D. Acetic acid, vinegar and ethanol production. Ingredients like vinegar, soya sauce and monosodium glutamate, ajinomoto that are used in popular Chinese food are produced by microbial fermentation. 1. Acetic acid. Acetic acid is an organic acid produced by the action of enzyme Acetobacter, acety. 2. Vinegar. Vinegar is 4% acetic acid, CH3COOH. It imparts sour taste to the food. Example, preservation of pickles. Steps of vinegar formation from acetic acid. 1. Mixture of Acetobacter and Glucanobacter is mixed with ethanol for its microbial degradation. 2. Bleaching of acetic acid by potassium ferrocyanide. 3. Pasteurization of acetic acid. 4. Mixing of SO2 gas with acetic acid. Formation of vinegar. 3. Ethanol. Ethanol is an alcohol obtained by fermentation of carbon compounds like fruit juices, maple syrup, sugar molasses, starch of the roots, 
with the help of yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisia. 4. Soya sauce. It is produced by fermentation of the mixture of flour of wheat or rice and soya bean with the help of the fungus Aspergillus oryzae. E. Beverage production. Beverages are substances obtained by the fermentation of certain substrates. Example of beverages are coffee, cocoa, wine, beer, etc. 1. Coffee. It is obtained by microbe Lactobacillus brevis. Role. It helps in separating seeds from fruit. 2. Cocoa. It is obtained by microbe Candida or Saccharomyces. Role. It helps in separating seeds from fruit. 3. Wine. It is obtained by microbe Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Role. It helps in fermentation of the juices. 4. Cider. It is obtained by microbe Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Role. It helps in fermentation of the juices. F. Organic acid production. What is organic acid? An organic acid is an organic compound with acidic properties. Different microbes used for organic acid production are 1. Glutamic acid. It is produced by Brevi bacterium, Corinobacterium. Uses, it helps in production of monosodium glutamate, Aginomoto. 2. Citric acid. It is produced by Aspergillus niger. Uses, it helps in production of drinks, toffees, chocolates, etc. 3. Gluconic acid. It is produced by Aspergillus niger. Uses, it helps in production of minerals used as supplement for calcium and iron. 4. Lactic acid. It is produced by Lactobacillus delbruchii. Uses, it helps in production of vitamins. 5. Itoconic acid. It is produced by Aspergillus itoconius. Uses, it helps in production of gum, paper, textiles, plastic industry. Some substances obtained by microbial processing. There are many substances which are obtained by the processing of the microbes. One among them is xanthan gum. Let's explore more about xanthan gum. 1. Role. A. It imparts thickness to ice creams, puddings, chocolates, milkshakes, chocolate drinks, instant soups, etc. B. It is variously useful due to properties like solubility in hot and cold water, high density, etc. C. It is used for production of pigments, fertilizers, weedicides, textile pigments, toothpaste, high quality paper, etc. 2. Microbe used in its production. This gum is obtained by fermentation of starch and molasses with the help of Xanthomonas species. Let us see more of such substances and its role. Substances obtained by microbial processing and rules. Citric, malic and lactic acid. Roles to impart acidity. Glutamic acid, lysine, tryptophan. Roles, protein binding. Nicin and natamycin. Roles, microbial restrictor. Ascorbic acid, vitamin C, B12, B2. Roles, antioxidants, vitamins. Beta carotene, lycopenes, xanthines, lutein. Roles, edible colors. Polysaccharides, glycolipids. Roles, emulsifier. Vanillin, ethyl, Butyrate, peppermint flavor, essence of various fruits and flowers, roll essence, xylitol, aspartame, roll artificial sweetener, low calorie, G, enzymes production. What are enzymes? Enzymes are catalysts which helps to speed up the biochemical reaction without 
itself undergoing any change. Characteristics of enzymes 1. Speeds the biochemical reaction 2. Does not itself undergo any change 3. Can be used again and again for a reaction 4. Active at low temperature, pH and pressure Different microbes used for enzymes production are 1. Enzyme invertase produced by Saccharomyces cerevisia 2. Enzyme pectinase produced by Sclerotiana libertine 3. Enzyme lipase produced by Rhizopus sp 4. Enzyme cellulase produced by Trichoderma conigi Action or uses of enzymes 1. In the removal of dirt or stains from clothes by use of detergent 2. Obtaining glucose or fructose syrups from corn flour 3. In cheese formation 4. In extraction of important components from plants 5. In tanning of leather etc. Antibiotic production Many diseases are controlled due to antibiotics. So what are antibiotics? Antibiotics are substances containing useful microbes that help to kill or inhibit the growth of harmful microbes. Certain microbes used in antibiotic production are Penicillium, Chrysogenum, Saccharomyces, Gracious, etc. Few examples of antibiotics are Penicillin, Bacitracin, Erythromycin, Gentamycin, Streptomycin and Rifamycin which is effective against tuberculosis. Role of microbes in production of fuels and biofuels. Fuels are important source of energy. Fuels are available in different forms and types. Let's have a look at them. 1. Gaseous fuel, methane, can be obtained by microbial anaerobic decomposition of urban, agricultural and industrial waste. 2. Ethanol, an alcohol, is a clean, smokeless fuel obtained during fermentation of molasses by the yeast Saccharomyces. 3. Hydrogen gas is considered to be the fuel of future. Hydrogen gas is released during biophotolysis of water in which bacteria perform the photoreduction. Biofuels Biofuel is important renewable source of good energy. These fuels are available in 1. Solid Coal, dung, crop residue. 2. Liquid, vegetable oils, alcohol. 3. Gaseous, gober gas, coal gas forms. These fuels are easily available and in plenty of quantity. These are reliable fuels of the future. Role of microbes in garbage degradation. Solid waste, sewage and various pollutants are ever increasing with increase in pollution. Along with it, ever-increasing diseases and degradation of environment are the worldwide problems. Especially cities in densely populated countries like India are affected with these problems. Life of the future generations will be difficult if these problems are not solved at right time and to right extent. Let us see the role of microbes in environment. We already know that microbes are used for disposal of solid waste through biogas plant and compost production. How urban waste that is accumulated in terms of tons may be disposed of? By creating landfill sites. But what are they? Degradable waste being accumulated in urban areas is used for this purpose. Large pits are dug in open spaces far away from the residential area and those pits are lined with plastic sheets as a precaution against pollution of soil due to leaching of toxic and harmful materials. Compressed waste is dumped in the pit. It is covered with layers of soil, sawdust, leafy waste and specific biochemicals. Bioreactors are mixed at some places. Microbes present in soil and other top layers decompose the waste. Completely filled pit is sealed with soil slurry. Best quality compost is formed after few days. Such land filling sites can be reused 
after removal of compost. Role of microbes in sewage processing and management. Sewage is the waste water produced in rural and urban areas. This sewage water should be treated before it can release into water bodies and to make it safe for drinking. In villages, domestic sewage is disposed of either in nearby soil or in biogas plant. However, in cities, sewage needs to be carried to processing unit and acted upon by microbial processes. Processing of sewage 1. Microbes which can decompose any compound as well as destroy the pathogens of cholera, typhoid, etc. are mixed with sewage. 2. Microbes release methane and CO2 by decomposition of the carbon compounds present in sewage. 3. Phenol oxidizing bacteria decompose the xenobiotic chemicals present in sewage. 4. The sludge that settles down in this process can again be used as fertilizer. 5. Water released after microbial treatment is environmentally safe. Role of microbes in controlling environmental pollution. Clean technology. Human being has made a very fast progress in technology. However, environmental pollution is also increasing with same speed. Let us see some of the ways to control air, soil and water pollution with the help of microbes. Microbes have natural ability of decomposing the man-made chemicals. 1. Some microbes remove the sulfur from fuels. 2. Metals like copper, iron, uranium, zinc etc. leach into environment from low quality metalloids. These are converted into compounds before leaching with the help of thiobacilli and sulfobacilli. 3. Spilling of petroleum oil occurs in ocean due to various reasons. This oil may prove fatal and toxic to aquatic organisms. It is not easy to remove the oil layer from surface of water by mechanical method. However, bacteria like Pseudomonas and Alcanovorax borcumensis have the ability to destroy the pyridines and other chemicals. Hence, these bacteria are used to clear the oil spills. These are called as hydrocarbonoclastic bacteria, HCB. HCB decompose the hydrocarbons and bring about the reaction of carbon with oxygen. CO2 and water is formed. 4. Plastic bottles are formed from the chemical substance PET, polythene, terephthalate polyester. Nowadays, most of the urban garbage consists of plastic. It has been observed that species like Vibrio, Idionella, Sakiensis can decompose the PET. 5. Similarly, species of fungi like Actinomitis, Streptomyces, Nocardia, Actinoplanes have the ability of decomposing rubber from garbage. 6. Sulfuric acid is present in the acid rain and materials coming out of mines. We know that erosion of metals present in statues, bridges and buildings occur due to it. Sulfuric acid is source of energy for some species of bacteria like Acidophyllum and Acidobacillus feroxidans. Hence, these bacteria can control the soil pollution occurring due to acid rain. 7. Water-soluble salts of uranium are present in the waste produced during electroplating and in effluent released in environment from the atomic energy plant. Geobacter converts these salts of uranium into insoluble salts and thereby prevent those salts from mixing with groundwater sources as biofertilizers which help to increase the fertility of the soil by fixing the nitrogen from atmosphere and makes agriculture practice easy and convenient. Example, rhizobium, azotobacter, nostoc, etc. 2. Use of microbial inoculants A. Some microbes containing inoculants are produced by process of fermentation. B. These inoculants are sprayed on seeds before sowing 
and some of the inoculants are released into plants. C. Microbes in the inoculants help in plant growth by supplying nutrients. D. They improve the quality of vegetarian food. E. Solution containing Acetobacter, an artificial nitrogenase, is used in organic farming. Disadvantages of Chemical Fertilizers 1. Soil pollution occurring due to chemical fertilizers is prevented due to use of these solutions. 2. Fluoroacetamide, like chemicals, are mixed with soil due to use of chemical pesticides. 3. These prove to be harmful to other plants and animals as well as cause skin diseases to human. In Bioinsecticides Production What is Bioinsecticides? Bioinsecticides are organic formulations recommended for the management of insects that feed on crops plants. Importance of Bioinsecticides 1. Bacterial and fungal toxins which can destroy pests and pathogens can be directly integrated into plants with the help of biotechnology. 2. Being toxic to insects, they do not consume the plants. 3. Similar to bacteria, some species of fungi and viruses are useful as pesticides. 4. Spinosad, a byproduct of fermentation, is a biopesticide.